So we're here today and we're near Saint Lazare uh, in Quebec. We just crossed the border and we're with Christian de Rosier and his good friend George and he's going to tell us uh, quite a bit about the details involved in this module that he has as part of his whole track setup. Yes, uh, thank you Chris. Uh, this is a, a scratch built uh, representation of the uh, Saint Lazare station which was on the CP uh, line uh, between Montreal and Ottawa. And uh, on this uh, presentation, you can see a picture taken in the 40s, showing the, uh, the station at the time, with uh, a school in the back. This is why we have the, the score, uh, students uh, coming back from the school during uh, the afternoon. And this uh, station was destroyed uh, in 1972. And you can see on the uh, Google Air photo, it's uh, replaced today by a uh, 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 shortwave uh, antenna uh, owned by the, the CP, which is uh, uh, which permit to the, the engineers to communicate with uh, the dispatchers. So, on this picture, the, you have the station as it was in the '72. Uh, just before it was uh, uh, destructed by the, the company. Did you always live in Saint Lazare? No, I was living in Dollar des Ormeaux before in the West Island. I grew and, up in Dollar uh, des Ormeaux as well. Before that, I was living in Quebec City. Fabulous. Yeah. Now, can you explain to our viewers uh, the techniques you use in constructing the diorama? Okay, uh, it's. Uh, on a normal uh, frame made of wood and uh, styrofoam. Uh, we, for the club, we were, uh, or they were asking uh, me to, uh, to have a double switch. And uh, one uh, of the friends added this uh, third uh, uh, track, which is a siding. Normally it doesn't exist uh, in Salazar at the time, but uh, it's for the club purposes. Mm -hmm. uh, the scenery is representing the Salazar area and my particular area with a forest uh, which was a few years ago uh, uh, owned and used by the uh, Lake of Two Mountain on club. They were hunting a false uh, fox. Mm -hmm and they were passing on my street on uh, so the weekends. So you'd see the horses tra travel uh, yeah, by yeah, your yeah. property? Yes, yeah. exactly. And also Saint-Lazare is, a, is a, a village or municipality with lots of uh, horsemanship uh, and uh, horse breeding uh, stables and so on. And uh, you have uh, my neighbor, uh, Gérard, who was uh, growing corn and potatoes in, in his field and also uh, growing uh, beef and uh, uh, coals for uh, meat. How did you make the corn stalks? Uh, it's made of paper. Made of paper, eh? Uh, yeah, Small roll, strands. Yeah, yeah, roll paper uh, cut with uh, scissors and... Uh, Very realistic. That's a beautiful station, and so I presume it's all scratch built. It's not yeah. a model kit. No, no, no. It's uh, made of uh, wood, and uh, the windows are coming from different parts of uh, uh, plastic uh, houses and uh, things like that. Uh, and I put some lead inside uh, to, for the uh, lighting uh, during the night. Ah, lovely. And uh, so. It's, it was uh, made uh, from uh, plans and from photo photographies. Uh, I didn't have access to the, to the plans, but I uh, use uh, mainly the, the pictures. Now, was yeah. the station always that, co uh, that color, uh, Christian? It was a color in the 40s. Mm -hmm. And uh, for that, I asked uh, some uh, people at the uh, museum in Delson, and they said it was cream and, and green. Yeah, well, you've nailed it. But uh, Beautiful. you have to, uh, t 
to understand the black and white pictures <laughs> and try to, to see the exact color. <laughs> to determine where the cream and where the green went. Exactly. I see. Exactly. Now I've noticed you've got an orchard in behind uh, the station. Can you tell us a bit about that? Uh, the orchard of... Uh, it was maybe yes, maybe not. But okay. uh, I had some uh, trees coming from a previous layout and uh, I wanted to use them. Yeah. Uh, in fact, uh, those little trees uh, are made in Germany uh, 50 years ago. And really? I just refresh. <laughs> oh, good colors. for you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Model yeah. rainers never throw but, anything uh, out, eh? Yeah, <laughs> but uh, for sure in Salazar we have some uh, 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 fruit. Uh, Farms and, uh, and ma mainly uh, apple uh, trees. Excellent. And, uh, yeah. And being a school teacher myself, it's nice to see the school children uh, yeah. with their uh, with their school <laughs> bags. They're probably heading home after a, a yeah. good day of learning. Exactly. Yeah. That's. And is this a European uh, style uh, okay, tower? Okay, the signal uh, tower is a is a German uh, made. Yeah. Yeah. And. Uh, so oh, it's not really uh, Canadian, but uh, it's looking good. It serves its purpose. It's yeah. wonderful. Yeah. Now, uh, do you bring this module out to all the big setups? Uh, uh, yes, it was. Uh, it was presented uh, for the first time in uh, September last year mm -hmm. in Ottawa, and uh, it, it was uh, present all, almost all, all the every month. Excellent. After that. And having the crossover, it's a pretty important module for the yeah. club's purposes. Yeah, right? that's, a, that's a key for them, uh, yeah. especially uh, at the end of the, of the major uh, stations and uh, that's right. uh, yachts. Yeah. yeah. And I like how you have the pedestrian crossings over the tracks to get to the other yeah. platform on the other side. Uh, exactly. Yeah. 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 Wonderful. The passengers can travel uh, across uh, the tracks. Uh, Safely, yeah. And uh, for for George, uh, his uh, preferred uh, view is the uh, is the dog pissing on the <laughs> rubbish. <laughs> uh, well, that's what dogs do, eh? George, yeah. on my left, I had yeah, a dog pee uh, on a fire hydrant. Yeah, yeah. There, there is a little uh, story about that. And, uh, <laughs> uh, I glued the the luggage on the on the platform, but uh, uh, the glue was not. Uh, uh, totally dry and the luggage moved, leaving a, a trace. <laughs> a little puddle. Uh, yeah. So to cover that trace, I, I decided to put the dog. <laughs> That's excellent. And I see it was coal that uh, fueled the, the heat for the station yeah. back in the yeah. 40s then, because you've got your coal bin yeah. outside yeah. there. Yeah. Excellent modeling, just and wonderful. And uh, the, the woman, the, the station master's wife uh, was uh, also washing the clothes and mm -hmm. they are drying on the, on yeah. the wire. And oftentimes you'd see uh, the station master would live in residence in stations okay. or nearby and they'd yeah. have gardens outside the stations? Yeah, they were uh, in Salazar they were living in the station but uh, the, the habitation uh, was on the on the east side of the station. I see where, yeah. where the the pole and the yeah. and the lines uh, are. But uh, I did not have the exact uh, measurement of the uh, the habitation. Yes. But, yeah. And what we know that they they had the three children, mm -hmm. so uh, three girls, and they needed to have separate uh, bedrooms. And it's like Petty Coat Junction. Bed. <laughs> Three girls. You remember Petticoat, Petticoat Junction? Junction. <laughs> You're bringing back memories. I think you need a water yeah. tower with three girls taking a swim up there. <laughs> That'll be in the new module. How's that? Yeah. Oh, that's lovely. And for transportation purposes, you remove the legs, put it in the back okay, of the car. Okay, the legs are uh, uh, movable. We can uh, just unscrew the legs. Mm -hmm. And I have a special box uh, here for uh, transportation. <laughs> Aha, uh -huh, look at this. Is this basswood? Uh, no, it's uh, plywood. It's plywood, eh? Very yeah, thin very, plywood. Very thin plywood uh, yeah. with a, a frame uh, uh, 
and inside uh, you have uh, <coughs> to protect uh, the plexiglass you have uh, some velcros mm -hmm. plus a uh, quarter which is uh, fixing the, the module inside the, the box yeah, I can I can incline. That's wonderful. Cool like this. <laughs> so it's protecting the trees and uh, protecting the all the details, which are very very. Uh, Any breakable. intentions of building a second module for the club? <laughs> 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 Gonna need a bigger car. Are you joking? Yeah. I'm, just, I'm just having fun at your expense. Are uh, you joking? Okay. Because I remember Jacques Tuat would have two yes. modules and he'd flip one upside down on the other. On the other. And if there was a structure glued on the module here, it would be a parking lot or a field on the and other module. Yes. And the stand of trees would balance out, you know. So it's, it's quite impressive. Uh, If you have time, we can go and and look at the rear bridges. Aha! Uh -huh. They are the they are the CN yep. bridge in Saint Anne de Bellevue. Oh, I know the Saint Anne de Bellevue crossing very well. Yeah, I grew yeah. up. Uh, yeah, I grew up in Dollar Des Armeaux, uh, yeah. where you grew up too. Uh, so yeah. and you have the, the Canadian Pacific uh, bridges, uh, truss bridges. And you'd see tr many trains a day yeah. coming into St. Anne de Bellevue because yeah. you've got the CN and CP mainline and, coming uh, in. IMT, also yeah. the commuter. That's right, commuter the commuter from, traffic. Uh, yeah. From Broadway. Great rail yeah. fanning spot. Yeah. Now, so I'm it's, wondering if that's a, the only it's all, place in all Canada. Uh, scratch okay. built. Do you, do you know, Christian, is that the only place in Canada where you have CN and CP? A Close together, side by side for uh, such a length no, of time. No, it's not the only place. Yeah. No. Portage La Prairie has the same. Portage in the prairies, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But in, uh, in uh, Eastern Canada, in, in Eastern, yes, it's yeah. uh, the only place. Yeah. yeah. In Ontario, there's also a spot where Toronto, from Toronto oh, north, okay. yes. where yeah. the two lines run the side by side. Run side by side, yeah. Great rail fence spots. So I made the plans. From uh, measurement in the, on the spot, uh, and I made uh, some templates also. Uh, of course, George was the chief surveyor. <laughs> <laughs> that's great. Yeah, that's a template for the, this uh, this fellow. All right. Yeah. So and these are scratch built. Totally, except uh, the yeah. ties. Yeah. Which. Uh, are made by uh, Central Valley. Mm -hmm. uh, unfortunately, they are not uh, long enough to cover the whole bridge, so uh, we have to add some uh, little right. uh, piece of plastic. Yeah. But uh, Evergreen is, uh, is giving us uh, what we need. And, uh, Fabulous. Yeah. And I see for your uh, piers and your abutments, uh, are uh, these yeah. scratch built as well? Ah. <laughs> Uh, yes. Uh, beautiful. Uh, yes. Uh, uh, don't tell that to uh, to Chu Chu. <laughs> <laughs> the church mold. The, the, the church mold. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, this is why they put a <laughs> yeah a big circle in a the big center. circle in the middle. It was yeah. to to, <laughs> to forgive the. <laughs> Yeah. People to use as a mold, but I yeah. am using it as a mold. <laughs> oh, I thought it'd become the new symbol for your railroad there. Yeah, like, yeah maybe. Uh, <laughs> you put a couple some, dots on the top tagging, and the back, yeah. it'll look yeah. like a yeah. Korean uh, flag. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, it's easy to, to remove. Uh, yeah, you can just carve that out. Yeah. You've done it already yeah. here. Yeah. 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 Brilliant. So I am uh, molding this uh, with a plaster of Paris. Yeah. Making the, the pies with a good uh, height and a good uh, yeah. width and I fill uh, the center, central part with uh, urethanes. So the the uh, diorama or the uh, module for Hotrack will be a deep module to accommodate the river and the, uh, and the piers, yeah. yeah? It will be uh, a free mo. Yeah, I see. Okay, and uh, I have 
I have some plants here showing that. Okay, this is the, the bottom of the, uh, of the park. Okay. There you go. This is a CN, a CN part with a lock in Saint Anne. Oh, yes. And uh, the next, uh, it, it will be a combination of two modules, mm -hmm. two twins. The next one uh, will be uh, crossing uh, really the river, so the, yeah. you, we shall have uh, more girder uh, bridges, it will be eight feet long. This is a longitudinal section of the module, yes, yeah. okay, with uh, the right elevation of 45 uh, inches here, the attachment to the, the normal layout, mm -hmm. the legs. And I have uh, to depress the yeah the uh, the box the box itself uh, yeah. to get the whole scene in yeah so spanning two modules that's quite impressive having a bridge span do that it will be eight feet long yeah and that's a first for whole track with, I would imagine with uh, four tracks yeah yeah because Brilliant. each each uh, company has uh, two tracks so. right so this is uh, the CN. And uh, we have the CP. Uh -huh. I recognize that uh, span. With the three short uh, truss bridges and the long one starting uh, on the Amazing. Ottawa River. That'll be a focal point of ho track when, when these are done, uh, Christian. <laughs> Everybody will come in and say, wow. I don't know if they will accept uh, those modules. I don't care. <laughs> uh, no, because uh, you, need, you need to have eight feet without operation. Yes. So it's, it's, a, it's a long straight. Uh, oh, but that'll be most impressive. Part. That'll be yeah, most for, sure, for sure, and uh, also it's prot prototypical, you know. Mm -hmm. That's amazing. The only thing I purchase uh, was the, uh, the the ties the, and the uh, the yeah. truss. Yeah. yeah. So a good many hours already have gone into this. Oh yeah, and a good many to go, obviously. Yeah. yeah. You're retired, Christian, I presume? No, right? no, 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 I'm still Not active. Retired. <laughs> still active. <laughs> Good man, where do you but, find uh, the time? Well, on the evening or uh, during some uh, weekend like uh, yesterday. Yeah, 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 good for you. Well, yesterday I finished uh, this, uh, this bridge. And in fact, uh, when you have the, the material, and I have a question for you guys who are experts in painting uh, <laughs> modules and, and uh, buildings. How can we paint this uh, bra uh, brass uh, screen, screen work. without filling the empty space with... Uh, I would suggest a fine spray. Yeah. I, and there's also um, Genix, which makes products that will blacken that. Do you want it to be black in color? No, there the must be uh, silver. It's silver? Yeah, yeah because okay. the, uh, the, in reality yeah. it's... it's uh, oh, well, there is a, uh, a very fine spray inox, out there. Inox uh, steel. There's a fine spray out there. It's uh, yeah. made by Krylon. It's called mm -hmm. brushed aluminum. Okay. And it'll do the job. Yeah. Yeah. And you, what you do is you stand back about four feet and you just dust it. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That's and and yeah. let it dry. Yeah. And then it may, if you have other spots, go back. But don't uh, go and do a heavy coat. No. <laughs> so I am using uh, this because it's it's beautiful to see. Yes. And uh, I I am uh, welding some uh, brass yeah. to be able to fix uh, the. Um, the stands. Mm -hmm. You know, you know another yes. technique you could use too um, is use dry brushing technique. Yeah. So there's very little paint on, and there yeah. are metallic paints. But do we need to put some uh, primer first um, on the brass because the paint will not. Uh, It'll be tricky. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is why I'm asking you. But maybe a few coats of dry, dry brushing, as Chris recommended. Yeah, you yeah. might find yeah. it'll it'll do the trick. Yeah, yeah. 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 Especially with metallic paints, they usually yeah. stay on metal pretty well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Lithral silver is um, is a Citadel Miniatures paint that actually uh, is made to go. On, uh, it's a, it's a coarse grain. Uh, I know it's very fine, actually. Yeah, yeah, it's, you know, yeah. So yeah. it won't, it won't clog. Yeah, that's beautiful. Mm.